Are you training hard enough? One of the most common questions that I get from my clients is, how do I know if I am training hard enough? It may sound very simple, but it's actually a great question. The answer for 95% of guys is probably no. But after watching this video, you'll know for sure. Because it actually takes a lot of mental effort and you really need to be honest with yourself to actually accurately gauge how much you have left in the tank on each and every one of your sets. So when it comes to gauging training intensity, what I personally use and what I use in my clients' programs is a system called RIR, which stands for reps in reserve. And here's how it works. So let's say you have an exercise that prescribes 10 to 15 reps at three RIR. In order to achieve that, what you need to do is pick a weight that allows you to do anywhere from 10 to 15 reps, but then you need to try to stop about three reps from failure. And I'll go through some video examples in a second here, but an example would be if you pick 50 pounds and you can do 13 reps where the 13th rep you fail, then 10 reps would be three RIR. Now where it gets a bit tricky is most guys have no idea how many reps they actually are from true failure. Where it gets even more tricky is there's actually two forms of failure and for a lot of exercises, failure is a combination of a bit of both of the two forms of failure. The first form of failure is technical failure, meaning that you're failing because your form is beginning to break down. And the second form of failure is absolute failure, meaning you cannot physically perform another rep no matter how hard you push. Very important thing to consider about absolute failure is there's a lot of exercises that are not safe to perform to absolute failure. Like take barbell squats for example. You can imagine what would happen if you took a barbell squat to absolute failure. Oh shit. Oh shit. So what we'll do now is I'll walk you through one of my workouts where I was taking all of my sets to zero or one RIR to give you a good visual of what it looks like. So this first exercise here is a single arm cable lat pull down and the form of failure that I reached here, I would say is a mix between technical and absolute because as you can see, I'm not really breaking form at all but I also cannot get my arm all the way to uh, where my lat is in a fully contract position. And that's partly because of the design of this exercise. The position that I'm in on one knee with, my hand, uh, with uh, using my hand to hold myself uh, tight on the machine makes it hard to cheat, right? So that's why I would say it's, about, it's, it's a mix between technical and mechanical failure. So I'd say this is definitely zero to one RIR. Um, the reason I say zero to one is because maybe I could have gotten one more if I would have cheated, but then that would have been reaching technical failure. So for this next exercise here, the T-bar row, I would say I reached one RIR here because I probably definitely could have squeezed out one more rep. Now, the reason that I didn't is because, uh, and this is just goes to show how much of a mental battle this is in the gym, because if I would have gone to absolute failure, I would have had to drop the weight on the ground probably, and then had to go in and pick it up to rack the weight. So I would say here, I went to technical failure, uh, one RIR, um, or not quite, not quite technical failure because there's really no way to like to technically fail on this because of the the nature of the machine. Uh, it's chest supported. There's really not much you can do to break form on this one. Um, I mean, you could you could not do a full rep, and I basically did not do a full rep on the last set. So I guess in that case, you could also argue that makes it technical failure is the fact that I couldn't drive my elbows all the way back in line with my torso on the last rep there. Yeah, the reason I didn't go do one more, one or maybe could have done one or two more reps, really hard to say unless you go to absolute, but I just didn't want to have to drop the weight on the floor. All right, this next exercise is a dumbbell Romanian deadlift. Now, this one is definitely more difficult because this is a, an example of an exercise that you do not want to reach absolute failure on just because of like the position that you're in you don't want to put like your back and your spine at risk so i would say this is definitely like a one to two rir that i reached here because i definitely could have squeezed out a few more reps but i also didn't want to want my form to start breaking down too much and my back to start rounding because you definitely want to be careful with with exercises that involve uh your spine 
So, um, so yeah, I'd say this was a definitely a, like a two RIR. All right, so this next exercise is a glute and ham focused hip extension. And on this one, I definitely reached technical failure again. Reason I didn't go to absolute on this is because my form started to break down, right? So the last two reps, I'm not actually doing full reps. You can see I'm not getting all the way to the top. Um, and it, it gets to the point where you're starting to feel it. Like this is an exercise that uses, that uses multiple muscle groups. So your spinal erectors, your glutes and your hamstrings. Um, and at this point, since, because I'm, I, I'm reaching a point where my glutes and my hams are completely exhausted, I'm starting to use my spinal erectors and that's not why I'm doing the exercise. So in that case, I would say this is a, a technical failure zero to one RIR. All right, so now for the seated reverse cable curls. Now this is an exercise I really am taking probably the closest to absolute failure because it's pretty safe to do so. There's not really a lot that can go wrong here. Um, and you can see that last rep really slows down to the point where if I were to try to attempt a, another rep on this one, it would be maybe a half rep at best. Okay, so this is a really good example of absolute failure. All right, so as you can see, definitely a great question to ask because it requires a lot more mental effort than you would think. Uh, even after going through that video and, and doing the commentary, I'm even seeing myself, I can still push a lot harder on some of my exercises. But the trick is you don't wanna be pushing so hard that your form is breaking down and you're putting yourself at risk of injury. So there's a balance there. There is definitely a spectrum of, uh, of a combination of technical and absolute failure that you're gonna reach on all of your failure reps. So anyway, next time you go to the gym, keep this stuff in mind, drop a comment, let me know what you thought, subscribe if you like these videos, and we'll catch you on the next one.